Hey, what's up guys? That's right, I've been to the dollar store again. And I picked up this new Nighthawk wireless motion activated spotlight. Super bright, 450 lumens, auto on off, battery powered, weather proof. Use indoors and outdoors. Requires 4D batteries, not included. So, it is uh, Sunday afternoon. And I just got done watching the Steelers barely beat the Bengals. If my cardiologist ever asked me to come in for a blood pressure check after watching the Steelers game, I, I would be banned from watching football. It is so stressful to watch them play. I mean, yeah, they, they pulled off a win today, but... It was close. I mean, that's, I guess, you know, that's AFC North football. Tight, close, hard-hitting games. All right, enough about that. So, here is the Nighthawk. And uh, first impressions, it feels cheap. I mean, it came from the dollar store, so yeah, it's going to be cheap. All right, depth-wise, we're looking at... Ten and a half centimeters height wise about 17 centimeters and width wise from the widest point probably just about 10 centimeters so there's your size I mean it weighs nothing okay we unlock it so what we got here is just a plastic shell in I don't know if you guys can see down in there. That does say ABS. So this is ABS. That's tight. So that gives us some rotation. Nicely geared and tooth, so that's pretty good. Then we got this one here that allows us to rotate. Yes. Okay. And then we have the brains of the operation here itself. Nice little catch here for the four batteries. Okay. Let's uh, let me find a screwdriver and we'll get inside here and have a look. This is honestly built like a uh, like a kid's toy from the 1970s. It's brittle, hard ABS plastic. Okay. All right, that's. Oh, more screws. Hidden screws. They tried to fool me. Almost. My brain is still a little fried from watching that game. All right, now nah, she'll come apart. And we'll see what's really going on here. Okay. Let's get down in here and have ourselves a better look. So we've got our two, those look a lot like one watt LEDs to me. And then here's where, you know, this is gonna fit like this obviously. So under this little golf ball cover, we have our PIR sensor. And then right next to it here is an LDR, which is giving us our daylight uh, protection, as they say. Got a little inductor over here. Four capacitors, a diode, 
no resistors interesting all right let's uh put some power onto this okay so i got four uh, d cells in there and I, I think d cells are a good choice for this because they have a great deal more energy density than double a's or god forbid you know triple a's which have almost nothing so as you can see we got nothing here because it does not work without that LDR being tripped by the darkness. So let's see if we can't add a little bit of darkness here. Yep, okay, it's on and working. Blinding me actually. And I'm gonna put the light meter, uh, let me put it in the right mode here. There's the button. One moment while I figure this out. I need to have it in, okay, so, all right, we're in max mode now. I will put the light meter up here. This is about two feet. And we'll get our reading. And then I will turn the lights back on so as to confuse this. And maybe it will shut off and stop blinding us. Or, you know, maybe not. Who knows? So, it says 450 lumens. We got, yeah, so you can see that, 4,500 lux. And if I put it right on top of there, we get 12,000 lux. But we're up here at about two feet away. Let me go back out of here. Bring this back up. Put it into max. And uh, I threw I screwed it up. Hold on, guys. Okay, max from right here about two feet up. This time we get three thousand. So yeah. It's pretty doggone bright. Let's not blind ourselves anymore. And I tell you what, they, this thing is really in there good. There we go. So let's get a meter on it now and see what our current draw is going to be. Oh man, I'm like half blind here. Okay, so four AA alkaline batteries will give us about six volts. So I set our power supply for six volts. We're at max amps here, which is four and a half amps. And this will give us a current draw and show us the wattage. I've clipped on here for the negative, and then I will just touch the positive here. And you guys should be able to see the light up. There we go. And at six volts, we're looking at one point. 0.9 amp and uh, 6.45 watts. Let's call it 6.4 watts. I mean, I think that's close enough, right? Okay, so I've got it all put back together. It's quite heavy and quite top heavy. I don't know how well this plastic hinge here would last. It is also lacking an external power switch so if the batteries are in it it's on and while it's bright I don't think it's worth $20 I'm sorry I think um, if this were more in line with the other lights the dollar store sells at either $5 or $9.99 this might be a nice deal but for $20 I think it's overpriced just my opinion but i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below big thanks to all the patrons who make buying stupid stuff like this possible and i am going to go bolt it up on the outside of the house somewhere because why not right anyway guys thanks for watching that's it i'm out peace